yesterday, I got to drop into Rebirth Island for the first time in over a year. And honestly, it felt awesome. The map, graphics, feel, and pacing were just like they were on Warzone 1. Let's go! Oh! But not everybody feels the same. There's a lot of people in YouTube, Twitter, and Reddit that are saying Rebirth Island is a relic of the ancient past and doesn't feel as good as it once did. So, is Rebirth Island really not as good as it was on Warzone 1? And why does the Call of Duty community feel like it won't ever be the same? Let's get into it. Now, first things first, when it comes to the Call of Duty community, there's something you gotta know. We're kind of fickle as a pickle. As soon as something is removed or goes away, it's the first thing we want back. We complain about getting our old things back and things going back to the way they once were. Whether it be Modern Warfare 2, Black Ops 1, or Zombies from Black Ops 3, the community wants to go back to the golden era era of whatever it was the experience the feel they just want all of it the way it was and the same thing is true about rebirth island a lot of people wanted rebirth island back on warzone caldera and asked for days and days and so rumors finally started circulating that it was coming back and this week as it started to come back people were starting to get a little bit negative saying things like rebirth isn't going to be the same without the warzone one weapons and without the feel of modern warfare 2019 rebirth island's not gonna be the same and truthfully i tell you this is to be expected with the call of duty community we love to be pessimistic and negative and there's actually a good reason that we as the call of duty community kind of think this way you see activision kind of has a history of under delivering on updates disappointing us with new features and leaving big problems unsolved such as the anti-cheat lags and glitches that seem to be in nearly every update and of course the inability to add a skill gap or features that players want so i get it man but as rebirth island came back yesterday one thing was clear to me some of y'all are never going to be happy no matter what call of duty does because rebirth island is back and i think warzone 3 is quote unquote safe i'll kind of explain why when i was playing rebirth island yesterday on stream i kind of felt like rebirth island was the same as it was on Warzone 1. And this is because Warzone has fixed a variety of problems in Warzone 3 that is gonna make it exactly where it needs to be in order to be a top game again. One, some sort of skill gap. When Warzone 2 first came out and you couldn't even play it and run, Ashika Island was in shambles, as was Almazra. And the Call of Duty community was on their way to Fortnite ready to pack up their bags and leave. But Warzone 3 has gotten better and better. And while some updates in Warzone 3, such as the Season 2 Reloaded update, were it's a bigger flop than James Harden in the playoffs, it's kind of important to understand. We've come a long way. And as past updates kind of had technical issues and glitches that prevented people from playing, this one did too, where some people on console had a black screen that was flickering and they couldn't play. These things are gonna be a fundamental part of Call of Duty, but it's getting better and Rebirth Island kind of felt exactly like it did in the warzone one days that's because as you're playing the pacing the pace itself of gunfights and speed feels exactly like it did but also the graphics the immersion of rebirth island feels pretty much the same in fact on warzone 3 you could argue there's a little better visibility and better accessibility because now console players have 120 fov and the colors feel a little bit easier on the eyes so in many ways rebirth island might play better on warzone 3 moving forward and i felt as if the memories and the overall experience was the same in fact i caught a few dubs with some of my original warzone squad from verdansk and we were all having a good time playing rebirth quads now one reason that a lot of people say that rebirth island isn't back is because of skill-based matchmaking in fact i watched a video from another creator who is a very decent creator named tactical brit and he was talking about how rebirth island is just not what people signed up for in warzone 3 in terms of it overall being way different in warzone 1. he was talking about how as people play in warzone 3 now it feels a little too stacky that there's a lot of people that are playing hip to hip and quads and how it doesn't feel like a casual experience and i just couldn't disagree more when it comes to rebirth island you can respawn instantly and go anywhere around the map there's tons of easter eggs to complete you can now go for nuke contracts which are super difficult and i'll be doing it live on stream here on my youtube channel to kind of show you guys how to do it and that'll be going live on friday here there's ranked play so there's really everything for sweats casuals or anybody in between you can play solos all the way through quads right now and let's not forget warzone one rebirth island had a lot of people ready to rage quit there was a ton of people talking about how oh 
this was the end of Rebirth Island. Everybody was stacking and the lobbies were extremely sweaty. So to say that it's not the same, well, people used to complain about stackers on Rebirth Island and Warzone 1. There's a lot of people that are looking through this with rose tinted glasses. And I kind of feel like the same thing will happen with Verdance. To kind of summarize up this entire thing, a lot of people feel as though Rebirth Island should have stayed in Warzone 1 and that we should have got Warzone 1 back holistically. The reality is that is not going to happen. Warzone 1 has been sent to the Gulag and it isn't coming back. It is permanently closed and the only way it will come back is if another game decides to sort of reuse that sound effects and mechanics that everybody fell in love with with Warzone for Dansk originally. Now, it's not out of the table that that could happen, and Black Ops Gulf War that's coming in the fall might actually have some changes that people will like in that regard. Verdansk will certainly be back according to what the leaks are saying, but I feel like not even Verdansk will be enough to save Warzone for some people, and that's because some people are determined to live in the past and be negative. When it comes to Warzone, there's some people that feel like it's prime is kind of gone kind of like logan paul's it's just not coming back no pun intended with the prime energy drink and to those people i say either enjoy it or move on there's nothing wrong with stating that you don't enjoy warzone but there's far too many people that try to put negativity into the space where they're kind of not realizing that a lot of people are enjoying warzone and that the game's in a pretty good spot so personally for me i think it's okay to have criticisms and opinions but i'll be playing warzone because i'm enjoying the game i mean i endured through warzone 2 and even found a way to have fun in that game i think it's all about finding a way to improve be competitive with the game as you can and just enjoy it in whatever methods or modes are possible for you now warzone's got a lot brewing and i think there's going to be even more content coming in season three we're loaded when they do introduce things like infill strikes changes to the map with dynamic time of day and things like that on rebirth so guys if you're already enjoying rebirth and it feels good i'm with you let's stay positive let's stay humble let's stay hungry and as always We'll see you guys in another video. Oh, and don't forget to hit that subscribe and like button. And there's another video on your screen, which is my first ever Rebirth Island win. And we'll see you in tonight's live stream.